Um, I just thought I'd uh, tell you of my next project. Um, I don't know if you like, some of you might be like me, where um, obviously uh, as you get older and the menopause, you do put on a bit of weight, um, which you struggle to get, get rid of. Um, so you end up with a wardrobe full of clothes that don't fit. So um, what I plan to do is to go through and either um, make them bigger in some way or put two pieces together, sort of transform them into something else. Um, or maybe just, just a few little tweaks and uh, it will fit better. And the first thing I'm starting off with is a summer dress which used to fit me about 10 years ago. It actually still fits me but it's not the length I would like and it's a bit revealing on the chest. So um, I'll just turn you around and then you can see. Right, so as you can see, it's a bit revealing here. Um, it does just fit because it's got um, that sort of elastic at the back. Um, but also it is quite short and I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress that short now. Um, at the age of uh, 61 so um, this is what I plan to do I've got I've got some um, of this um, sort of frill which I bought and I'm going to put that along the bottom along here and then I will probably do something on the neckline for it to match so that's the plan um, so yes, so that's what I'm going to do today okay? and uh, you can watch as I try and transform this dress into something a bit more modest. Okay. <laughs> right, so um, here's the dress. Um, it's fully lined. Um, I did think I might attach it to the lining but the lining is quite a bit shorter than the dress. So then I think I would lose... Um, what I'm trying to do there by making it longer so I'm going to attach it to the actual dress um, so I think to make it look like it's a separate that it is a petticoat from behind I think I'll attach it like that and then it'll have a bit of a flap there so that's what I plan to do um, I'm going to iron the dress now quickly um, just where because at certain places it's sort of crinkly just the dress completely ironed all the way around so now I'm going to attach this with some pins
now going to machine this. Right, as you can see, I've um, hemmed this bit on the overlocker and I'm now going to go around the bottom of the skirt with the sewing machine. Right, okay, so done it all round the dress at the bottom. Hopefully that will look okay. Haven't tried it on yet. Um, and this is what I've got left. So not a lot left. So yes, so. Whether to go straight across like that or whether to go like that with a frill. Probably thinking more straight across. I think the frill might be too much. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to pin it and try it on and then let you know what I decide. Right, I've decided to go straight across. I've overlocked either side of this and I've cut it to size. Um, and I'm just going to pin it onto here. So And then I'm going to machine along there and then I can always cut this off. Looks good. There we are. That looks good. Right, tie off the ends. So we'll turn you around this way. So I'm going to just edge that with the overlocker and then that will tidy that up.
There we are. So that's nicely edged there. So what have you actually done to it then? I put this here to make it um, less exposure on the chest. Keep the sun off, yeah. <laughs> keep the sun off, yeah. Um, and uh, I've made it longer because before it was short. It was quite short, but yeah. Now I've got older, I want it longer. Yeah, you don't want to be flashing it about, dearest. <laughs> that won't be in there. 